In this edition of Tips and Tricks, I'm going to go over required documents in FlexMLS and answer some frequently asked questions. As of January 13th, you are required to upload documents, and what documents you have to add in depends on the type of listing. I am now on the Add Listing screen, so I've typed in all my listing details. I've hit the Add Listing button, and I'll be prompted to add in the required documents in order for my listing to be visible in the MLS. And again, this is a brand new listing that I'm adding after January 13th. But what happens to those listings that you've added before January 13th? Those listings will remain active and searchable in Flex MLS until you make a change to that listing. So I'll go to the menu and then change listing. I'll type in the MLS number of that listing that I've added before January 13th to make a change and press next. Now that I've went to the change listing screen for this particular listing, I'll be required to upload documents. I can see the documents section here and that two are required. And I can see that I'm required to put in the confirmation of agency and the lead-based paint disclosure. I added in a confirmation of agency before January 13th, but it does not get recognized as required document. So I need to go in and click the three dots, edit document, select a description, and then confirmation of agency so that the system recognizes that this is the required confirmation of agency. I can tell by the red asterisk that this is a required document and then the green check mark that I have gotten it uploaded. To upload the lead-based paint disclosure, I can click on add a document here, choose the file, and then select a description again, lead-based paint or I can click on the upload button here. It will recognize I'm trying to upload the lead-based paint disclosure and then choose the file. Now, when I go to return to edit listing screen, I can see a green check mark that lets me know that all the documents have been uploaded. If you have made changes to your listing after January 13th, but didn't get those documents uploaded, it will change to an unapproved status and will no longer be searchable in the MLS. To find that listing to upload the documents, you can go to the menu, change listing. It should automatically take you to unapproved. You can see the listing and then get those documents added in. You can also find those listings on your dashboard. You're looking for my listings and then unapproved. That is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for more tips and tricks videos in the future.